Hi, today we will be talking about a device that's called the Wireless RC Link for GoPro Control. And what it is, it's a device that allows you to remotely control um, triggering pictures and videos on your GoPro um, using your wireless transmitter receiver uh, connection. So you simply plug this into your receiver and use a single channel to control both uh, photos and videos remotely for your uh, GoPro. So there's this connects wirelessly using the GoPro app Wi-Fi connection that the GoPros um, are, have internally. So today we'll be talking about how to set this up and configure it with a couple different GoPros and just in general how it works. So I have this set up with this transmitter and I have a two position and a three position switch. I will be showing you today how to use both of these two options to control the GoPro. So I just have the servo connected to the two position switch channel to show that it's uh, how it's operating and then the three position switch channel is very similar so it's just uh, low, medium, and high positions. So now we are going to configure this with this Hero 3 Plus GoPro first. So I'm going to first show you how to configure it with a two position switch. So let's plug that in here. To put this into configuration mode to be able to um, enter the specific Wi-Fi wi credentials for the GoPro that you are using, you have to uh, double press this reset button twice within three seconds. And this will turn the LED here solid um, and that will indicate that it's in configuration mode. So what that does is that this thing is generating its own Wi-Fi signal, which you can connect to from any device, and then you can configure it from there. So let me grab this device, and we'll go to the Wi-Fi settings. And then you should see GoPro Remote Configurator. If we click on that, there's no password. You can just connect straight away to it, and you can see it's connecting. On some devices, it may redirect you to the configuration page automatically, but on most, I do not think it will. So just go to any browser that you have and type in uh, no, 192.168.4.1, and it will bring you to this uh, configuration page. If you press the first option, which says configure Wi-Fi, it may take a few seconds to load it will bring up this configuration page. So at the very top, it shows you the available uh, Wi-Fi networks that you can connect to and configure. So we want to connect to this GoPro here, um, but I don't have the Wi-Fi turned on yet. So first I need to turn this on and then turn on the Wi-Fi signal. Then to make it appear, you can press the scan button and it should refresh that list of available Wi-Fi networks. So now there's the GoPro Hero 3. We'll select that and that just copies the name down to the down to that box. <clears throat> and then we just need to enter the password for that GoPro. Once you've done that, there's only a few things that are required um, to change in the configuration. There's default values for all of the for most of these um, uh, options. The first one um, requires you to put in the model number for the camera that you're connecting. And there's a, a chart to, to use, um, to check with in the user manual for this remote that um, allows you to put the right number in here. So for a GoPro Hero 3, the number is 3. It's not always um, the same as the model number. The switch type, since we're connecting using a two position switch, I'll put a 2 here. These options, the lower and higher threshold, are just the um, thresholds for the uh, switch positions of the uh, RC channel. Then there's two different indicators on this um, remote. One is the blue LED uh, indicator, which I recommend to leave on. You can just simply type on or off. The default value is on, so you can just leave it blank if you want to leave it on. And then there's this buzzer that indicates um, several diff other different states, including Wi-Fi connectivity and also uh, whether it's recording video or not. So we'll leave both those on at this point, um, and we'll, we'll change those to show you how they work later on. So then if you press save, it will attempt to update those parameters in here. And if it does go successfully, this will play a... 
So the LED blinked and the buzzer made a, a uh, tone which indicated that it's connected to this Wi-Fi now. And now this status LED is fading in and out or breathing and that indicates that it's connected to Wi-Fi active and ready to use. So now if I go to this two position switch here I can flip it once. Well sometimes these GoPro Hero 3's you have to turn them off and turn them back on. Other cameras do not have this issue but if you turn it back on it should respond to uh, commands. So this should put it in photo mode. There we go. So now if I flip this switch it takes a picture. Flip it again. So if you toggle back and forth slowly it will take pictures. But if you toggle back and forth um, twice within eight tenths of a second I believe it starts a video. So if I go up and down it starts a video and now this LED is blinking which is indicating that it's uh, currently recording a video. Then if you simply toggle it again that will stop the video. And then you can start taking pictures again. And it works great. So it's very straightforward to use and you can um, configure it to different cameras. It's um, pretty straightforward. So now I will um, show you how to hook it up to this GoPro Hero session. So I'll go ahead and turn the Wi-Fi off on this. So this one I reset the Wi-Fi to show how to connect it if you've never connected it to your app on your phone before. Side note, that tone and you can see the LED is off now that means that it, the Wi-Fi is now disconnected and it's still trying to reconnect to that same Wi-Fi network for the GoPro Hero 3 and so it will continually do this until you go back into the configuration page and update the Wi-Fi credentials or turn the Wi-Fi back on on your camera. So like I was saying I reset the Wi-Fi on here so that I can show you how to change the Wi-Fi name and password of the GoPro using this remote and also how to pair it. So I will first go into this turn the GoPro on and go to the app uh, control here and select it and it will prompt me to put the app in pairing mode. It gives me a time limit so I have to complete this in three minutes. So I will double click this reset button, put it in configuration mode, go back to my settings on this device, go to the go click on GoPro remote configurator, connect, <clears throat> Go to the browser again, type in 192.168.4.1, configure Wi Fi, and now we want, it has this default, excuse me, default uh, name for the Wi Fi SSID. So we'll click on that because that's for this hero session. And the default uh, Wi-Fi password, I think for most of the GoPro cameras, is GoPro Hero, um, all together and no uppercases. So GoPro Hero. And now we need to again change this model number. And for the Hero session, it is four. And we will sh show this with a three position switch. And I will turn the buzzer off to just indicate how that function works. But now we need to enter the pin for Wi-Fi pairing. So if, oops, if you look at this, it shows 8773, I think, 8773. So we'll put that in here, 8773. And then we also want to put a new GoPro Wi-Fi name. So I will name it, oops, uh, Go. So now when I save this, Save this, it should connect to the uh, initial Wi Fi name and password. Um, tell it that it's pairing, and then change the Wi Fi name and password and reconnect automatically. And once it does all that, it will uh, go into 
the breathing the LED will breathe again so it's really helpful to have that turned on so you can see what's going on and this will take a little bit well there now it's connected and just to show you that the Wi-Fi name and password is indeed uh, um, renamed I will go back to the Wi-Fi settings on here um, go back uh, I think it actually was showing up already there GoPro hero session you can see it's already renamed and, it, and we could connect to it if we wanted to so I'll set this back now I actually need to change this to a different channel the one that's tied to my three position switch so I have to reconnect because I powered it off but it remembers all the credentials and it may take a se few seconds or maybe immediate when it reconnects it just uh, depends sometimes but it's completely normal <clears throat> If it doesn't connect after a few seconds, it automatically resets itself. And now you can see it's it's connected because the LED is fading in and out. So now it's tied to this three position switch right here. And the way this one works, in the high position, it takes a video, except for if it's already there like it is right now. And then the bottom two positions of this three position switch toggle between pictures. So if you if I put it in the middle switch, oops, it will take a picture put it in the bottom uh, position it'll take a picture put it in the middle position it'll take a picture then if I move it up to the high position it will start a video and whenever I take it out of that position either to the middle position or the lower position it will stop the video so I'll go to the lower position stop the position stop the video and it's as easy as that so um, in review, this is a plug-and-play configuration, configurable remote for your GoPros, and it works for the GoPro Hero 3, Hero 4, and for the Hero Plus LCD at this time. We're currently working on development for the Hero 5, 6, and 7, but we haven't um, completed that yet. So when that has happened, you will be able to update this uh, remote with a firmware downloadable from my website using this uh, micro USB cord. So it uh, will be pretty straightforward to do. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to leave them in the, in the section below and I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. Um, thank you.